guys stop talk one today I'll be going through self control. What self control does is it can block the websites you want to block by just going to edit blacklist and you can import it from your mail client or you can add the website you want to block. For example I want to block Facebook so just type in facebook.com and it will be added to your blacklist. After that just set the time that you want Facebook to be blocked for um, the maximum is one day and the minimum is 15 minutes. I'll just block it for 15 minutes. After that, click start and it will ask for your admin password. And once you type in your password, and it will start blocking. And one thing I like about self control is when you quit self control, the blocking still works so let's try it out as you can see it is blocked and says Safari cannot connect to the server let's try other websites as you can see it works totally fine so let's try out whitelist now so what whitelist does is it's completely opposite of blacklist it only allows the websites you put on the list and it will block all the other websites that's not on the list. So to do that, just select whitelist, add your website. I'm just gonna add YouTube. YouTube.com. After that, just do this exact same thing, set the time, and click start. It'll ask you for your password as well, and once you're done, it will activate the countdown. So now let's try out the blocking. So I want to go on Facebook, it doesn't work, Google, still doesn't work. And if I go to YouTube, it works fine, but the problem is, um, since self-control blocks scripts and images on website, um, it's kind of having a problem here. YouTube uses script and images um, for their websites, for example, um, their um, logo, thumbnails, and videos. Um, it wouldn't show because self control blocked it. So I don't really like how whitelist blocks the images as well. So yeah, you can't even look at the videos on YouTube because it was blocked as well. So this is just a quick test of whitelist. Thanks for watching.